So hello everybody, it's Friday, so it's time for another Dax Friday, it's a new Dax function every Friday. In today's Dax Fridays we're going to do what we started two weeks ago. So we're going to work with dynamic pricing, but this time we're going to do it in Dax. This we have solved with Power Query before, now it's a Dax solution. There's a twist at the end, but we will talk about it at the end. So this is what we have, in case you haven't seen the Power Query video. We have a table that has energy prices and the energy prices are set at the beginning of the month and then somebody goes and looks at your meter and sees how much usage you have and then you want to calculate how much you have to pay every month basically so let me show you we're going to do these in steps uh, i'm going to first unhide the usage table let me show you. So if we put date in there, this is the calendar, normal calendar. And let's say that we do it the Excel way, right? So we said, okay, if we want to calculate what the costs will be, if we want to calculate what the cost will be, you will do the sum of the price. I don't know why I put cost, anyhow, and the sum of usage. So you multiply cost by usage, and then that should give you the right result. You probably wonder why we're doing this. Let me show you. So if we put this in there, you see that it gives us a black. Okay, what's going on? Let me show you. If I put cost, the cost in there, and I put the usage in there, you are going to see that this is going and tries to calculate for the first, it tries to go to cost and that's the usage, there's no usage, so it multiplies 21 by nothing and then it gives you nothing. Let me show you one thing. If we would have a price that would match usage, then we would get a value. So if I go to price table, just so you can easily see what's going on. And I put it the same, so for one month the pricing and the usage was done on the same day, you're going to see that it's going to give us one value, you see? Because it finds a hit on both. So obviously this is not working. Now, what happens if instead of date, I have year month? And I put my calculation in there. Suddenly it works, right? So 21 times 10, 110, and this is 2,200. So why is working in here but not in here? Well, the thing is that these, the cost measures, is actually getting the folder from year month. And year month is saying, okay, give me prices in January, which is 21, and then give me usages on January, which is 10, and then it's multiplying it. So it's getting the correct values. But when you are at a day level or at a week level, you're not going to get the correct results. So millions of ways to do this. I'm going to show you one. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Let me show you. So if I put date again in here, and then the issue with our cost that you can see that is not filling the blank. So what we need to have is the cost move here or the usage move up, doesn't matter. So we're going to move the cost down. So we're going to fill down cost in order to be able to do the calculations properly. How to do that? It's a cool way. Let me show you. Uh, new measure. Fill down cost. And then we're going to use last known blank. I'm using this quite a lot actually lately. So if I put, so th this function, what it does is it finds the last known blank value. And then it gives you the value of the second parameter. So last known blank value from date and give me the value from cost. No, not that cost. Give me the value from cost. Cost. There. And if I put fill down cost in here, it's actually not going to do it because again, it's just filling, giving me the, the last month blank. But if instead of having just given the calendar like that, we actually 
give them all the dates in the calendar between the blank and, and the place where there was pricing, then you will do it. Look at this. Dates between. First you have to feed it a table. So let's feed it. I have the table in there. Then you have to have a start date. The start date is going to be the blank because there is, it's going to hit first the blank. And then we're going to have the max of no dates. So when you hit, so fill in dates between blank and date. I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, do we need to close something? Yeah, dates between and then comma. So you see that it's working. But what it's saying is like, okay, so between blank and the next one, so between these and these, give me the dates. And then for each date that you give me, give me the last value. So it's filling down. It's cool. <laughs> Such a nice thing. And you'll see that it works. It has here from the 1st of January, and then it goes all the way down to the 2nd of, the 15th of February, which is 18. And then it fills down right so now if our cost let's do a new measure cost two if now we multiply fill down costs by the usage you see is giving us the right results. You can actually remove all of the stuff. And you can see that it re gives you the right cost per, per price, uh, you know, the date of the price, and you can adjust this as you like. Yeah. The date of the usage is probably, okay? So it gives you the date of the usage because the cost is already filled down. So where it's blanks, it's not going to give you anything, but it's going to give you when you got the meter, it's going to give you the price, which is quite a nifty thing. Now, there's a but. These fill down costs will work only in certain cases. So there is a NIF. So if that if happens, then you will get the wrong results. And I'm going to leave that for you to tell me when this measure is going to give you the right the wrong results. So it's a good lesson. If, if you don't guess it, don't worry, I'll tell you the next video. But I thought it was a good exercise for you anyhow. Okay, so if you want to do this in Power Query, I actually have a video, I think it's there, <laughs> or there, uh, where I show you how to do, how we did this in Power Query. Otherwise, this is the Dax way. If you know when this will not work, let me know in the comment box and I will see you again on Monday as always. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.